Hello, Armoured Pants here, um, and I have a, another tank review for you, a full guide. This is a Russian line, Tier 2, the BT-2. So firstly, as always, we're going to have a look at the technical specification of the tank and then some gameplay. And as always, we are going to use Blitzhanger, a fantastic asset which I suggest you all use. So it's Blitzhanger.com. So here we are now on Blitzhanger. We are going to set the tank up like this. Um, you can use the pause button if you want to see the exact loadout. But if basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, the first seven equipment modules and I'm going to use um, supercharge and refoiled gun so they get the maximum penetration on the gun. Now, uh, this is a very good tank. It's very fast. Um, it has a good reload. has a 45 caliber gun. Um, it f uh, fires over 11 rounds a second. It has a 5.3 second reload if you use a gun rammer, which I suggest you do because you want to fire as many rounds as possible. And with the refoil gun and the supercharger, you're definitely going to pen the enemy. You know, as we said before, you can always run a tank without equipment, but why not use the equipment? Because it gives you an advantage over other players and it makes the tank um, as optimal as possible. Uh, and you want to run your tanks as optimal as possible. It's better to run tank, fewer tanks with more equipment than loads of tanks with less equipment. The tank has 8 degrees of gun depression, 25 degrees of elevation, which is good for shooting up hills, and the 8 degrees is not bad for shooting over hills. Um, and the tank is pretty terrain friendly. It's fast, so it gets around all maps, and there isn't really any maps that don't suit it. Now, here we are looking at the armor on the tank. The purple part, that's the gun mantlet that can't be penetrated. And as we discussed before, the darker the colour, the more likely it is that you will bounce the shells or the harder it is to penetrate. So we want things to be red if possible, if not orange, dark orange. As you can see, the back of the tank, there's a little bit of armour on the turret. But um, as like most tanks, it's most vulnerable from behind and on the sides. Now, here we are looking at a, um, a, a front on. And we can see that for tier 1s, it's going to be difficult to penetrate. But against tier 2s... Um, the armor is not fantastic and you will be penetrated but if we look and compare this to the above picture it's much darker it's much more orange in the above picture why is that well that's because in the above picture the tank is at an angle and the when you angle armor it's more difficult to penetrate and that's called angling so therefore what we want to do is uh, we want to angle the tank when possible so if we're facing the enemy we want to wiggle the tank around create angles and as you will see then it becomes much more orange or red even in some cases and more difficult for the enemy to penetrate as we said this is a fast tank it does 45 kilometers in a straight line and that will enable you to get around and um, the next tank in the line is bt7 which is a very similar tank so if you get good at this tank you will have no problem whatsoever and um, going up to the next tier and playing the bt7 so let's have a look at um, some gameplay in the tank and let's have a look at the tank within the um, within the game itself so here we are it's the bt2 i've just purchased it i'm loading out the ammunition now um, and now we're going to load out the equipment as i said so gun rammer then on the, we're going to use the um, uh, refiled gun and we're going to use refile gun there and then we're going to use um, a supercharge now here we are um, on the map Mines, which is a map you'll play a lot. Now the key to this map, and you will see this in the other videos I do, is to get control of the hill in the center. If you get control of the hill in the center, firstly you're able to dominate the map, you're also able to spot up the enemy, plus you're in an elevated position, you have the high ground and it's easy to fire down into the enemy. So the best thing to do is to go hell for leather and to try to get up that hill before the enemy that means you can spot them, and if you can gain the top of the hill before them, you have a significant advantage. Um, so this is why I am going all guns blazing to get up that hill as quickly as possible. I'm just going to go straight up, spot the enemy. I'm not going to stop to shoot because I'm not in cover. I'll be exposed. I'm going to get into a cover position, turn the tank around, and now look. Now, I am in a position of cover. I can't be shot from the sides or behind. And I can put damage into these enemy tanks here. This guy here um, is just sitting there out in the open. Now they come to try to get me, but I can back up, back up. I've backed up. I'm gonna still a little bit of cover. Backing up again. You see, bounced a shot there. Putting around into him. He missed again. So I'm moving. I'm not giving him any easy targets. Making it difficult for him to hit me. I'm moving back and forwards. I'm creating angles. I'm making up all sorts of 
and um, difficulties for him. Now we're going to go back around behind him, back and maneuvering, and um, he couldn't get his gun down to hit me, so I put another round into him. And again, he's having all sorts of problems. Um, and this is what you call, uh, this is brawling, so I'm brawling with this guy. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm making it very difficult for him to pen me, because I'm not sitting still. Um, stopping is dropping. If you stop, the more, much more likely to get killed. But what I'm doing is I am just moving around, making it very difficult for him to hit me. And as we saw when we did a tech spec, um, by moving, wiggling the tank, not sitting still, I'm creating those awkward angles. I'm making my tank uh, more difficult for him to penetrate. And that's why I won that brawl, even though he was a higher tier than me. Um, I didn't sit still, I just kept moving backwards and forwards around in circles, just basically making it impossible for him to have any easy shots. And as you saw there, um, he did not like that at all. The worst thing you can do in those scenarios is you sit still, um, side on or with your back to him and just try and just exchange rounds. Um, that is not um, how you want to play. What you really want to do is to just um, fire um, as many rounds as you can but make it more and more difficult for him to hit you. So you can see here what I'm doing, I was waiting till he came around and you can saw that what I did was, as soon as he was gonna fire at me, I moved. Now I'm using the speed of the tank to get around him. This is called a uh, circle of death because I go around him, he can't get a shot at me. I'm just making sure that his gun is not facing me. Um, I'm using the fact that his tank is slower than mine, I'm going around him uh, and I'm not in danger. Now, um, back up go forward again the same as with the uh, previous bra with the t15 and um, I am making it very very difficult for this guy to put damage on me and I'm continually moving around and my ally is causing a bit of a problem there he got in my way when I was trying to go around behind now I should have another shot into him here now I'm around the side again and this poor guy he can't get shots on me and I'm just putting lots of shots into him and then I get another kill so this basically, um, that is, now I got a bit of damage there, and it wasn't quite as good a brawl as the previous one. But then my ally who came to help me there wasn't really helping me at all. That's a, really a case of with friends like this who needs enemies, because he was blocking me when I was trying to drive around it. But unfortunately, um, when you're down to lower tiers, you're going to be playing with players who are not skilled. And the poor guy um, probably didn't even know he wasn't helping me. Uh, and I think his intentions were good, so we can't really criticize him too much. Plus we're going to win the game anyway, so we're all friends. Um, now, um, another thing, as we said in videos before, aiming is maiming. Uh, so you want to uh, make sure that you aim your tank, uh, aim your, the, your gun uh, properly. So don't rush your shots. Make sure that the uh, aiming circle gets um, centered before you fire. That way you're ensuring that you have the best chance of every shot you fire going through the enemy. And you're not wasting shells and not giving the, the enemy a chance to inflict damage on you and your allies. Um, now, you can snap off shots like that when the enemy's moving, and sometimes they go through, sometimes they don't. And as you um, as you get to play the game uh, more, you will learn when's best to do a snapshot and when's best to aim. But when you're doing peekaboom and stuff like that, see there was a snapshot I did which didn't go through and mess, missed completely. When you're doing peekaboom um, and things like that, you really want to aim when you can and let the center circle um, center as much as possible make sure that your um, your um, <coughs> shots go through because um, unless you're putting damage in, in the enemy um, you are not uh, helping you or your team to win the game so it's always better to uh, aim carefully when you can and um, now again I'm in a circle of death situation with him you can see that this guy is a faster more maneuverable tank than uh, the D2 that we were fighting but again moving backwards and forwards I am creating angles and making it very difficult for him to shoot me. Um, I'm not giving him any easy tar any targets. And that circle of death, I went around behind him and uh, was able to kill him um, and to get my sixth kill in the game, which is always great and very impressive. And I think that might actually give me a mastery badge in this game. Yes, it did. So the golden M is a mastery badge. It means you perform better than 99% of players in the tank. Um, over the same period of time, which I think is a week. You can see there's six kills, 1.4k damage, which is a massive amount of damage in tier two. And we can see that I did um, a lot of damage. Um, I damaged six out of seven enemy tanks. These are the credits that I earned. 
and um, we'll have a look at the XP this is what I XP experience this is what I got and um, so there you see the mastery badge as I said better than 99% of other players top gun and um, high caliber ranger <coughs> etc now in that game I didn't do anything that you couldn't do yourself I just use common sense I know the map I know what we need to do is to dominate the top of the hill so get up there quickly um, and I also know then um, when I'm in an angling, <coughs> when I'm angling, when I'm in a situation um, where I'm brawling, to move the tank around as quickly as possible. Now, this is a good tank. Uh, it's a very fast tank, so you can dominate the map. It's a fast tank, um, it's a good gun, fast rate of fire, um, it will do damage to the enemy. And when angled, it will bounce shots, as we discussed. And of course, as we, uh, as I said before, stopping is dropping. Uh, keep moving all the time. Um, don't let the enemy have easy shots on you. Yeah, angle when you can. Aiming is maiming, so take your time with your shots, um, especially doing peek a boom, etc. And the next tank along is the BT7, I and mean, there's a full guide on this channel as well for that. But of course, don't rush. It's not a race to the next tier. Get good with this tank. Get comfortable with it, and then you'll really enjoy the BT7. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the review, I hope you enjoyed the guide, I hope it helps you. Uh, subscribe and follow, and uh, you won't miss out on any of the great content that we have here on the channel. Alright, take care now, see you now, boys, boys, cheers.